Well, it's June, so the annual onslaught of Marxist propaganda hit like a tsunami. It used to be called Gay Pride Month, but that wasn't inclusive enough because there are bisexuals and transgender people and pansexuals, whatever the hell that is, and they all must be celebrated because they're incredible heroes. Any disagreement about this and it's considered to be hate speech. The most ridiculous so far, and it's only two days into this disaster, so God knows what else is gonna happen, is Kellogg's new LGBT cereal, Together with Pride. I'm serious, this is actually real. The limited edition LGBT cereal consists of what appear to be Fruit Loops in the shapes of hearts, and on the back of the box, instead of crossword puzzles or treasure maps, kids are taught about their preferred pronouns. He, her, she, him, they, them, and there's a few spots for the kids to come up with their own pronouns. Boxes are for cereal, not people, they say. No matter who you are, who you love, or what pronouns you use, you're too awesome to fit into a box. All they wanted was the right to be married, they said. And now Tony the Tiger is teaching your third grader that maybe he's a girl and needs new pronouns. Lego has also released their first ever LGBTQ plus set for Pride Month this year because they too want to indoctrinate your children. Sesame Street has posted happy Pride messages on all of their social media accounts because well, you know why. Hi, my name's Dylan Pontiff. I'm actually going to be one of the drag queens reading for Drag Queen Storytime. So apparently to a lot of people in this room, I'm the big boogeyman. But I'm here to let you know that this event is something that's gonna be very beautiful. And for the children and the people that support it are gonna realize that this is gonna be the grooming of the next generation. This is gonna be the grooming of the next generation. Of course, many, if not most, Fortune 500 corporate social media accounts have change their avatars to incorporate their company logo with rainbows. Well, that is for all of their accounts in Western countries. Most of these brands have separate social media accounts for each different country. And so the United States, the UK, Canada, all of those accounts have been changed. But what a surprise, the brand accounts in the Middle East have not. Look at this, here's Mercedes in the USA, the UK, Canada, but Mercedes Middle East doesn't support the LGBT community. <laughs> I wonder why. BMW did the same thing, except for, well, the Saudi Arabia BMW account. And that's because Muslims, unlike the vast majority of Christians, won't just sit idly by and allow their culture to be undermined or changed without actually saying or doing something about it. The 501c3 tax-exempt churches in the United States don't want to lose their tax-exempt status and upset the IRS by preaching the truth. They take their 30 pieces of silver in the form of not having to pay income tax and in exchange they don't get politically active because, well, that would be a violation of the IRS's 501c3 tax code. Oh, you didn't know that there are strings attached to virtually every church in America being tax exempt and being classified as a charity. You just thought that the government was not collecting what they should render unto Caesar just because they like what the church is doing? You know, if Jesus were to come back today, he would vomit on most of these churches for being cowardly sellouts. So now we have people like this who have access to children. This is Ari, Gwendolyn, and Brynifer. They are in a polyamorous relationship, and they all parent Hazel and Sparrow. We have a two-year-old antigender baby and a 10-year-old who is non-binary. How is there not a national outrage about this? How are these people not in prison? How is it that no Republicans have been speaking out against this kind of thing? Instead, Senator Ted Cruz and Lindsey Graham traveled halfway around the world to a foreign country to promise them that we'll be giving them more of our tax money. This next clip, I had to triple check to verify that it was actually real. When I first saw it, I hoped that it was just a parody. I prayed that the Marxist hadn't gotten this far, but this Blue's Clues clip, which is a cartoon aimed at children ages three to five, is real. It's time for a pride parade. Families marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. Families marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. This family 
has two daddies, they love each other so proudly, and they all go marching in the big parade. Come on, friends! Yes, that is a drag queen designed to get your five-year-old to sing along with them about how great gay pride parades are, and that was just a small sample of the show. I warned you the Marxist propaganda was incoming like a tsunami, and Disney Plus, Disney streaming service, just rebooted a new show, or about to reboot a new show called The Proud Family, which, you guessed it, now has LGBT characters in there to teach your children about maybe changing their pronouns. The Rugrats, another cartoon for kids, also decided to make one of the characters gay because, well, you know why. This is gonna be the grooming of the next generation. And now there are a growing number of plastic surgeons in the United States who are allowed to keep their medical licenses who are performing what they call gender nullification surgery for people who identify as gender non-binary. Oh yes, it means what you think it means. Here's one of them, Davis Plastic Surgery. Dr. Davis is just a handful of North American surgeons who have been performing gender confirmation surgeries for more than 20 years. However, not all gender patients desire a complete transition. For his gender non-conforming patients, Dr. Davis also performs gender nullification, also known as male to eunuch or smoothie procedures. The procedure includes a complete penectomy or whatever you call that, a reduction. Oh my god. The goal is to leave the area as a smooth, unbroken transition from the abdomen to the groin. Meanwhile, popular science magazine declares people think beef is manly, and that's a big problem. We can't lower our meat consumption without rethinking masculinity. Yes, if you like to grill out and eat hamburgers or steaks, or God forbid, work out at the gym to build your muscles up and eat animal protein to repair them, then they consider you to be part of the problem of society. It's not fun anymore. It was fun about five years ago when these were like isolated instances, but now they become ingrained into the culture and just daring to speak out against them puts you at risk of getting your social media accounts banned. It's so much worse than I can get into here on YouTube. I gotta walk a fine line and they probably already consider that I've crossed it. So you really should get my books in paperback from Amazon.com by clicking the link in the description below. Of course, you can also support my channel while it lasts by getting one of my shirts from MarkDice.com, like the classic Liberalism Find a Cure shirt, the Free Speech Zone shirt that contains facts and opinions, some may find offensive shirt, or any of my awesome designs. So head on over to MarkDice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.